Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Tuesday, March 15th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, lots of great stuff are at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. Join us every Sunday at 1030 for worship and join us on Wednesdays during Lent at 615 for dessert, snacks, and Lenten devotionals. My scripture today is from Obadiah chapter 1, verse 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the nations. As you have done, it shall be done to you. Your deeds shall return on your own head. This is the word of the Lord. Well, today, March 15th, what is that? The Ides of March, you may remember from the Shakespearean play, Julius Caesar, Beware the Ides of March. Well, what are the Ides of March, or rather, what were they? Well, you see, in ancient Rome, March 15th was marked by several key religious observances, and it was notable for the Romans as a deadline for settling debts. And, of course, in 44 B.C., it became notorious as the date of the assassination of Julius Caesar. And so the Ides of March became a turning point in Roman history. Well, today, Tuesday, March 15th, the Ides of March in Tallahassee, I pray that this, too, will be a day that is marked in history. Why? Well, not because there's necessarily anybody famous that's going to have a situation or a circumstance, but rather, I pray each day that this will be a new day, a new day of light, a day that blooms with hope and possibilities, a day that puts us on a better course, a day that brings us closer together. I pray that the Ides of March will be a joy and an abundant blessing in each of our lives, in our community, in our country, in our world, serving our Lord. Let us pray. Well, the sage said to beware the Ides of March, but we pray that this Lenten season would be instead a time of reconnecting with you, O Lord, and a time of blessing our relationships one with another. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.